you won't believe the incredible secrets lurking in the universe. In fact, the cosmos hides structures and phenomena that test our imagination. The disturbing NASA images you're about to see leave us in disbelief. What do we really know about the mysterious processes taking place in the universe? Why do we find structures everywhere that look like artificially created objects? And above all, where does this door on Mars lead? An idiosyncratic freak of nature? Or the work of a secret Martian civilization? In May 2022, NASA published a photo that immediately sparked the wildest speculation. Taken by the Curiosity rover, which had been exploring the Red Planet for over 10 years, the image shows us a striking geometric opening in a rock formation. By all appearances, there is a large cavity behind the opening, so it looks like it leads somewhere. After the photo found its way online, it wasn't long before there was a lot of guesswork. How did this entrance come about? What is at the end of the corridor? Is this proof of extraterrestrial life? Well, the experts found a rather sobering solution to the door mystery. Even though they admitted that the image looks extremely strange, they believe we are dealing with purely natural erosion. Further images of the area show that the rock layers, known as strata, slope downwards on the left and are higher on the right. It is possible that the layers were deposited billions of years ago in a river or wind-blown dune. The weathering of the rock then created vertical fractures in the formation, which ultimately created the supposed door. Despite this, there are users who do not want to hear about normal geological processes. However, one thing is certain. If the Martian door was built artificially, its builders were very compact. The passageway is only about one meter high. The Screaming Skull How can the following image be explained? Did NASA accidentally capture a galactic demon on film? A mystic entity that is wreaking havoc on the cosmic fabric? Well, not quite. What looks like a screeching skull rising from the flames of hell is actually the Perseus Cluster. This is located around 240 million light-years away from us and consists of about 500 to 1,000 galaxies. However, the X-ray image taken from the Chandra Observatory does not show us any of these star clusters. Instead, we see a scorching hot, gigantic gas cloud that is itself more massive than all the galaxies in the cluster put together. The fact that it presents itself in the shape of a skull is due to the elemental processes taking place in the cluster. The bright X-ray source is probably a supermassive black hole at the center of the cluster. The bubbles that form the eyes and the toothless mouth are in turn the result of explosions of high-energy particles. Stonehenge on Mars Located in southern England, Stonehenge is one of the greatest mysteries of the past. In fact, we still have no idea how the builders managed to erect the megaliths, weighing several tons, into a coherent formation thousands of years ago, and what purpose it ultimately served. But the good news is that we Earthlings are not alone in this mystery. A few years ago, a picture of Mars was published showing a no less mysterious stone circle formation. While the photo was taken by the camera on board NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter probe, the structure really doesn't have to hide from Stonehenge in terms of size. The analysis of the pixels revealed that the diameter of the Mars Henge is almost 50 meters. The largest stone block protrudes about 2.25 meters from the ground while its diagonal width is 6.25 meters. There are now two possibilities to explain the origins of the structure. On the one hand, and admittedly this is not very likely, the stone circle was created artificially. On the other hand, the circular arrangement could be due to the phenomenon of so-called frost pattern soils. These are regularly shaped surface structures created by the effects of ground frost. However, there is also a problem here. In contrast to the known structures that have been created this way, Marshenge stands conspicuously alone in the landscape. This meteor injured 1,500 people. Recorded by a car dash cam on February 15, 2013, this footage shows us the moment when the Chelyabinsk meteor comes into contact with the Earth's atmosphere. While the clip was taken around 200 kilometers north of the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, 
we see how the projectile from space turns into a blazing fireball and burns up. And so that we understand each other correctly, the light that emerged was 30 times brighter than the sun. What remained was a trail of smoke in the sky that could be seen from afar, and around 1,500 people who were injured in the course of the event. In detail, this was the largest known meteor in over 100 years. Its weight was around 12,000 tons. And although the missile did not hit the Earth's surface, its breakup caused such a violent shockwave that 3,700 buildings were damaged. The kinetic energy released is estimated to be equivalent to over 500 kilotons of TNT. Most of the injuries were again caused by shattering window glass. More than 40 people had to be hospitalized. But given all the research stations and sky monitoring programs, how could it be that the meteor literally appeared out of the blue? Well, it had to do with the direction the object came from. As it came from the direction of the sun, it could not be detected by our earthly stations. Did this cosmonaut film UFOs in Earth orbit? In the summer of 2020, Russian cosmonaut Ivan Wagner was on board the International Space Station. Originally, the space traveler had planned to film the majestic auroras that were dancing across the globe at the time, but instead, he caught something on camera that he simply couldn't explain. Wagner posted a puzzling clip on Twitter and wrote that the video doesn't just show the auroras. In fact, we can also see five strange glowing objects flying at equal distances from one another and straight across the horizon. Wagner also stated that he had already forwarded the footage to the directorate of the Russian space agency Roscosmos and to the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences. Wagner himself had no clear explanation for what he had filmed. Instead, he posted a telling question. Are those meteors, satellites, or… yes, or what? The creative minds among you will know what the hint the cosmonaut was trying to make here. That sounds like space music. Before Neil Armstrong could take his legendary small step for man, he had to pave the way for the first manned moon landing. For this reason, Eugene Cernan, Thomas Stafford, and John Young went to the satellite in May 1969 to test the planned maneuvers under real conditions. However, an incident occurred during the Apollo 10 mission that is still overshadowed by major question marks to this day. At the time, the astronauts heard some very strange noises, which actually resembled a kind of music. Years later, the original recording from that time was finally released. The dialogue of the astonished space travelers sounded like this. Cernan, this music even sounds spacey, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? Stafford, yes. Cernan, woo. Young from the command module, did you hear that whistling sound too? Cernan, yeah, it sounds like, well, space music. Isn't that strange, John? Young, yes, I hear it too. I was about to go and see if there was anyone out there. Cernan, boy, that's some strange music. We've got to find out what it is. Nobody's going to believe us. And lo and behold, NASA was actually able to decode the unsettling moon music. According to this, what Stafford, Cernan, and Young heard at the time was merely based on interference between the command module's radio equipment and the lunar module. And even if this explanation sounds quite plausible, it is accompanied by a big question. If the incident was really so unspectacular, why were the recordings subject to the strictest secrecy for almost 40 years? The real man on the moon? The moon is hollow on the inside and an artificially created space station. Well, we couldn't care less. The truth is, we've never been on the moon and never will. Statements of this kind show the position of the moon is still, well, let's say controversial in the public eye. And the enigmatic images of the moon's surface don't really help to demystify the Earth's constant companion. For example, in one image we see a gigantic 5.5 kilometer high structure protruding from a huge crater. And it didn't take the alternative-minded users long to come up with a suitable explanation for the strange structure. We are clearly looking at an artificially created lunar tower that serves as a docking station for spaceships. However, the expert's explanation is not quite as spectacular. 
It is simply a small crater that is formed on the edge of a larger impact site. The tower-like appearance was created when the image mosaic was put together. The bright craters are more visible than the dark ones in the images, with the high position of the sun, which is why the image is not at all unusual. And what's the story behind the shadowy figure that some people interpret as the real man in the moon? Are we really seeing a mysterious moon dweller here? Or are our eyes playing tricks on us? Well, that's actually not so unlikely. Our brain tends to recognize supposed faces and familiar objects in things and patterns. While this phenomenon is known as pareidolia, it is also said to explain the creepy Martian face. According to this, it is due to a special interplay of light and shadow that we sometimes see things that don't exist at all. Well, at least officially, of course. Want to find out more about the greatest mysteries of the universe soon? Then click on the subscribe button and never miss a new video again.